Father's Day weekend. Happy Father's Day. You need to be celebrated. And I know my pastor said the other, uh, last Father's Day, he said, Father's Day like any other, any other day. Mother's Day, they go all out. But uh, I, I, I think having a father is important. One that you have an actual relationship with. It, it gives you your foundation. You know what I'm saying? Having a relationship, even if your parents are not together, you should have a separate individual relationship with both parents, whether they're together or not. And um, I just think that to know that the reason you're here, you're grounded and that's your foundation. The two reasons why you're here. And also, um, I just wanted to say this. To those of you like me whose father's gone, God will be our father when we need, when we can't talk to our earthly father, our biological father, the one, the reason we're here, we can go to God with any complaint that we have, any situation we have, and he'll give us the sermon. And just last week, I had a situation at work, and uh, my choice wasn't the right choice, but I, in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night, I got confirmation what I should do, yeah. Anyway, y'all, it's all love over here. What I talk about, I come on here, I try to share ideas, situations, and things like that. Sometimes, you know, and, and, I, and I, I thank God. I thank God that I have been blessed to come in contact with people who, who help me. I help them too but I give, because I give them service, but they're not in it to, you know, just drain my pockets. You know what I'm saying? They give if I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's we. That's why I take my time before I make my mind up. And I do this like seven days out of the week. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep I had to earn my stripes So I don't have to work no nine five Yeah, we be taking everything for granted, no lie Cause I remember days that we could barely get by Used to use the negativity to get high But now the comments we reading can ruin our lives, why? It used to be easy back on Easy Street Hollywood ain't that good, it's going down like it's on a needed beat Even though now it's live still all on top Good morning y'all, happy Wednesday It's Wednesday, June the 14th Welcome all my new subscribers I'm coming up on 10 Tell y'all about a situation I had with my air conditioner in my car. So 2021, I took my car to the dealership because I was getting my um, an oil change, and I told him just go ahead and check my air because it seems like it wasn't blowing as cold as it should. So he checked it. He said he checked everything. They didn't find anything wrong. About a month later, I went back to them because my air had started blowing hot. Now, when I took it, I told them my air was blowing not as cold as it should be, but it wasn't blowing hot. And it didn't happen immediately. It probably took two to three weeks, maybe a month. So when I took it back to them, they charged it and everything, and they said that they didn't see any problems or whatever. Okay, so then it was winter, fall. I didn't need it anymore. Come summer, uh, uh, here in Louisiana, spring, I went to run my air. It was still blowing hot. So I took it to another uh, a mechanic shop and they ran die in there and they got everything and he said so we got your car chuck he said we got your air running cold he said now if there is a leak we ran die in there he said if, 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 it, if it runs if, if it start blowing hot bring it and uh, we'll look for leaks and they did so when I took my car back they found a leak on the left side they changed that hose so he told me he said we got you straight he said there was a leak on the left the left hose had a leak in it and we changed it he said, now you should be okay. He said, but if this happens again, it's probably a leak on the right side. Because the left left side is a low pressure hose and the right side is a high pressure hose. And on the right side, it takes longer for that leak to be um, found, seen, I guess. Okay, so. But after they did that, maybe a week later, I had my car at the shop for getting something else serviced and... The little young guy that was working there hit my car with one of the other cars and he hit the condenser. So at the mechan at the body shop, they told me that um, they were going to have to uh, replace the condenser and they had, you know, body work to get done. They had to give me a new hood and things like that. And so 
when I got my car back, it ran good for the first month and a half, then it started blowing hot air. So that body shop contacted State Farm and they actually got me a new condenser put in. But every two months, I would run into the same situation. My car would start blowing hot air and when it would start that, I would hear like this hissing sound. And so I called the, uh, and I was still dealing with the body shop who had done my body work because the mechanical portion of the work they fixed that too. So the lady I had been dealing with was on vacation and the owner, um, I, I left her message for the, 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 the lady, but she said, the, lady, the, the receptionist told me, she said, well look, the lady you've been dealing with is on vacation, so either the, the shop manager or the owner will call you. So it was, I guess he's the owner, I've, been, I've seen him there before. He called me and he said, well okay, he said, bring your car in, he said, because it's hot. And normally they don't work on a, a maintenance repairs on Friday because they're trying to get, you know, the body shop repairs out on Friday. But anyway, he had me to bring my car in. So I got there early because I thought that they were still opening at 7.30, but they are open at 8. But when he saw me out there, he got the lady to open up early. It was so nice. They came, she came and um, got my car and my ride took me on to work. And so she called me about an hour and a half or two later. She said, we got you. She said, we got you fixed. I missed the message because I think I was in an interview or something. She said, we got you fixed. She said, um, it was a valve. And y'all, I have been going through that air conditioning situation with this car for two years. But now I didn't think it was anything major because no one had said it's the compressor or, or, or it's your air system or anything. And it, it blew good. It just was, had started after a while blowing hot air. I was losing my coolant. And I've had my car back now um, since Friday. Today is Wednesday. It is a difference in how it's running. Every once in a while when I would run it, I would smell like a burning sensation. Uh, not a burning sensation, but I would smell like burning. And, uh, and that's not happening. And the way the air blowing is actually different. So, y'all, I think all that time it was a valve that needed to be replaced. And now I think I'm good. I hope and pray that I am. And I was asking my friend, I said, well, do you think it's worth fixing the air system? And he was like, well, yeah, if you're... If your if your car if your transmission and your motor is good, as he said, you could get a new car, and and something like that, you know, will have to be replaced. So, anyway, y'all, fingers crossed. <laughs> right now, prayers are answered. I uh, I think I think I'm good. All right, y'all. So I just want to share that with you. If you're having problems with your car, you're losing Freon or whatever, and they haven't ever told you that it's a compressor, ask them to check your valve because that's what the problem is. Right all right, y'all, it is Wednesday. It's uh, my Thursday because I'm off Friday and I'm actually taking... We got the holiday on June 16th, but June 19th... I'm like, June 10th? Why didn't we have 19th? So, but anyway, we did get the day. I'm just going to take the 19th as a vacation day. All right, y'all, it's Father's Day weekend. Happy Father's Day. You need to be celebrated. And I know my pastor said the other, uh, last Father's Day, he said, Father's Day like any other, any other day. Mother's Day, they go all out. But uh, I, I, I think having a father is important. One that you have an actual relationship with, it, it gives you your foundation. You know what I'm saying? Having a relationship, even if your parents are not together, you should have a separate individual relationship with both parents, whether they're together or not. And um, I just think that to know that the reason you're here, you're grounded and that's your foundation. The two reasons why you're here. And also, um, I just wanted to say this. To those of you like me whose father is gone, God will be our father when we need, when we can't talk to our earthly father, our biological father, the one, the reason we're here, we can go to God with any complaint that we have, any situation we have, and he'll give us the sermon. And just last week, I had a situation at work, and uh, my choice wasn't the right choice, but I, in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night, I got confirmation of what I should do. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, it's all love over here. What I talk about, I come on here, I try to share ideas, situations, and things like that. Sometimes, you know, and, and, I, and I, I thank God, I thank God that I have been blessed to come in contact with people who, who help me. I help them too, but I give them, because I give them service, but they're not in it to, you know, just drain my pockets. You know what I'm saying? They give me... Because I, I, I can tell you, I'm, I'm going to come back and talk about that, though. God's favor. 
I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Much love. Bye. I hope it never goes